right here. This is uh, Royce Gracie's very first debut fight in UFC 1. He's fighting like a professional boxer who got robbed in the locker room a couple hours before the fight. And that's why he only has one boxing glove to beat every, uh, you know, mystery. Maybe that hand's too strong or whatever. <laughs> no, he got robbed in the locker room. He only had one boxing glove. But, you know, Royce uh, circles around circles around the ring, brings up the high check kicks to keep him away, high check side kicks to keep him away and stuff, keeps his hands up high, oh my gosh, so he doesn't get punched and stuff, and then the very first clinch that the entire world, the clinch that changed the world, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu changed the world, Royce Gracie was the one who showed the whole world, UFC 1 was who debuted it, but the way the ground fighting was united, the match that struck the world was this clinch right here. A long range facade kick, clinch, takedown, Gracie Jiu Jitsu starts. Let's talk about it. Everything's lit, all these days. I was smoking on that real. Here I great, y'all are calling me for the real. Up on ways, I feel touchy, bitch, I'm real quick, no delays. Y'all are text me on a real time, lock on fierce time, for minutes hard. Late time, I now waste time with minutes hard. Jet plane, coat, a suitcase, we live in a on tour, grab the money, cause see no life living, yeah. Yeah, every day is like a holiday, look on life. Me love pay where the money they work long night. Or some mistakes fly over in the bay, poop on flight, the high grade stay rolling. He's got bigger hands. He's stronger. That's how that I would probably have to hit him three times 
to equal one hit of his. He's a bigger guy. I don't want to be cross, you know, and, and punching and stuff. So with his hands up, I just want to close in the distance without getting hit. So I'm going to bring my front leg up, step, and then clinch. So one more time. In Portuguese, they call this passat, which means stop. Up, stop, down, and I step behind as my body goes in. He wants to fall down, and my foot, after it stops, is right behind him. So when I get ready to push in, he's down. So full speed, he's hoping he can get a punch or kick off. Passat, down, down. Now I'm the tall guy. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Hoist Gracie fighting uh, Gerard Gardo, uh, neo-Nazi from Europe uh, for the first place fight. Dancing around is probably one of the best strikers of the time uh, in UFC 1. Uh, dancing around and stuff, long kick, clinch, wrestles him to the ground. 1996. traditional Gracie Jiu Jitsu by the books, by the number, the, the outline would be I bring my leg up, I kick, I go behind, I clinch up, and I sweep them down. Yeah, and that would work, that could still work now in the year 2022 if I'm being attacked or, or in a confrontation with someone who doesn't know how to fight. But if this is someone that maybe he is fighting me at a Walmart, but he's taking karate at another school years ago, he's going to see that coming. If I'm fighting someone as good as seasoned as Sensei Brett, when I try that move, he's going to light me up. Boom, he moved. Oh, he moved out of the way and he hit me. I don't want that. And I'm like, why didn't that work? Because I have to upgrade. And the simple upgrade I can do with this is I can use some feints or fakes. And what I mean is if I did the, the standard passat, this leg comes up, this leg kicks, and I come down. But when he sees this, that, yeah, that's his uh, cue to react. So now I'll use a fake, 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 kick, and come. So I'm almost like the boy that cries wolf. His first reaction is the strongest. Second one by the third fake, he's like, ah, is he really coming? And then I move. So instead of just going straight in, I'm going to go in, in. In and go for it. Just adding a step to remove a step. A little bit about uh, what's the real fight is all about today. Okay, so he knows boxing. He's he knows moves. He knows wrestling very well. I do, right? I believe so. So what happens? I cannot. I've seen lately. I've seen some. Uh, Good Jiu Jitsu fighter fight in Japan and he was like this and he got caught. Because why? Because he didn't show his opponent that he can punch.
Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Tim with Sensei Britt at Impact Martial Arts right here in Lumberton. And today we're going to talk about something that might seem uh, controversial or uh, maybe even uh, counterproductive, but it's not. We're going to talk about how you can still use old school Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in modern day mixed martial arts fights. And people are like, hey, they've been using that forever, but no, they haven't. The type of martial arts or mixed martial arts or grappling you see in MMA now might have came from old school Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but they can't get away with it. You can't see Hoist Gracie doing these long distance kick, kick clinches that he got away with in the first four UFCs. Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Coach Tim. And what you just saw right there was Royce Gracie taking one of those old school long uh, kicking clinches, but it got stuffed. One thing you just can't stuff enough of is good Mountain Dew flavor inside a cup. So why try? Drink it from a bottle. Coach Tim. until today. And before we start, I just want to thank my professor, my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Inky professor, uh, Tony Pazinski, who's also my Nogi Luz do Vero uh, instructor, more uh, catch wrestling, lucha libre. And that's what we're talking about today. We're not always going to be in a gi fighting someone who's not going to punch me or necessarily knee me in the face, whether it's a uh, on the street confrontation, MMA confrontation, or ballet tudo, you have to think about that. And back in the day, no offense to them, when the Gracies first came to America, a lot of people weren't ready for that uh, combination. They were stand up, kicking and punching, and, and karate guys who could fight and very well knock another guy out, kicking and punching, and they just weren't ready for Hoist Gracie the way he would be really far back, throw one of these, and come right in, and the fight would go to the ground. And that's why he was so successful. And that's a very awesome, very classic, hallmark signature way in Gracie Jiu Jitsu to take the fight to the ground. You throw a long range facade kick and you do a clinch, take the fight to the ground. But the problem is, nowadays, I would almost say you need to be a better striker than grappler to be successful in the octagon. I mean, not, not taking away from grapplers and, you know, Sambo and everything, but every fight starts standing, and you very well might go the first couple of rounds of only stand-up until the fight finally gets on the ground, unless you upgrade your Passat kick clinch. Uh, Marco Huaz was very good at it as well. He actually made some how-to tutorials back in the early 90s on it. Now, like we were saying, from right here, the Passat kick, I come up, I stomp down, I come in, I grab, I might pull back. When he pulls away from me, boom, and I get the takedown. The problem is, and I'm using a bigger guy who's a black belt in karate, an instructor, if I try to just come with this weak signature move, he's gonna light me up. Boom, yeah, one shot. So how can I upgrade it? Just one simple, quick fix. I learned it in Taekwondo when I was studying in Korea. If we were in a closed stance right here, this would be open, our belly's on the same side, this would be closed, you're on opposite sides, I still want to be able to throw my fast kick to his belly. I always have to worry about him throwing a back kick, boom, and lighten me up. So, in Taekwondo, they would go in, out, in, out, in, boom, and kick. It almost masked it and tricked the guy for the kick. Same way now, if I want to be able to throw my side kick, in the octagon MMA, or we're just in a wide open space, I'll take my time, in, 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 kick, go, boom, and he's down. Quick fix with me, Coach Tim. These days, I've been smoking on that reel. Here I grace, y'all are calling me for the real. Up on ways, I feel touchy, bitch, I'm real quick. No delays, y'all are text me on a real time. Lock on FaceTime, 15 minutes hard. Play time, I now waste time with minutes hard. Jet plane, boat, a suitcase, we live in a hand. Don't grab the money, cause you know life living, yeah. Yeah, every day is like a holiday. 
the day, you burn life Me love day where the money day, work long night Or some me stay fly over in the bay, poop and flight The high grade stay rolling out When the feeling When your chose get a bag of the grits and all pills and babe, yeah, yeah I'm